Opal Beaters, it's Gina from Orchid and Opal.com and this morning I have the September 2019 dollar bead box and bag monthly subscription to share with you guys. Now most of you know the drill but I will leave their link down below if you're interested in checking out their different subscription options and checking out their website but it is as low as $18.50 a month for the box itself which includes US shipping and then the bag is an $8 a month add-on just depends on how long you sign up. This box doesn't have a monthly theme in particular, but it does follow the same kind of pattern with regards to the types of contents that's inside. So let's go ahead and take a peek and see what we got this month. So here is our dollar bead bag on top, and this has four strands of three millimeter fire polish beads and four strands of four millimeter fire polish beads. Next down here is our box, which I'm going to set aside, and we will go through the bag first and take a look at all these beautiful strands. Here is a look at the list of what everything is called. If you want to take a glance at that while I'm sorting out these strands next to me. All right, so starting with the three millimeter strands, this is our first one right here, and it is called Metallic magenta and you guys know I'm all about getting the metallics. I love adding these to my collection. I think they look great especially when combined with the other finishes like mattes and the regular fire polish. It's got a beautiful metallic shine. The next one we have is called matte medium sapphire so you can see this is a nice medium blue more on the lighter end of the spectrum and it is matte so the beads have a frosted look as opposed to a very glossy sparkly look. Again, just another variety to add to the collection and great to mix with other things. Next up, our third strand is this very fun and sparkly strand. It's called Crystal Olive Luster, and you can see how sparkly that is as I move it around under the light. Love the extra special finishes. That luster is gorgeous. If you look up closely at this strand, you can see a mix of olive green and a little bit of brown, but also super shiny. And then our last three millimeter strand is this one right here, and it is called Matte Smoky Topaz. So kind of a dull grayish brown also with the matte finish, taking away the usual gloss and sparkle. But again, I think this would be another nice neutral tone that would blend well with a lot of other things. All right, and now getting into our four millimeter strands, we have this gorgeous strand right here. This one is called Crystal Pink Luster AB. Wow, it's got the luster and the AB finish on it, making it so sparkly. Lots of beautiful color play in there as you move it around under the light. The base color being the very light pink, it's very translucent and lets the light through and flash back those colors beautifully. Next up, we have Matte Light Peridot. So our light green. The light peridot always reminds me of a spring green. And again, we have the matte finish giving us that more frosty look. Then we have a four millimeter dark cyan, a gorgeous deep teal in the standard fire polish finish, which is very glossy. This is one of those colors I feel like I'm drawn to a lot when I'm creating. So I'm sure it won't last very long in my personal collection. And then finally, I'm loving this strand. It is called Crystal Citrine Luster AB. So just like the pink one that we saw first, this one is also a Luster AB. And my camera doesn't even know what to do right now. It's trying to get its white balance together because this is so sparkly. But I'll just turn the beads for you just a little bit there and you can see how the beads have that partial AB coating in the luster finish, which takes them from a standard shiny glossy fire polish to something very sparkly and juicy looking. This is one of those colors that is absolutely gorgeous for fall in my opinion. All right, so those are our eight strands for the dollar bead bag. Again, those being about a dollar per strand. Before we get into the contents of the box real quick, so this particular subscription, for those who don't know, is one of those great ones that includes a store on the back end of it. So if you see something here you like, you can actually go and purchase more of those things like these strands for just a dollar each. If you didn't want to sign up for the monthly subscription, you could also become an annual member and that's about $35 per year. But they have lots of great stuff on their site and that is one of the major perks of this particular subscription in my opinion. All right, so we have this little letter on top of our box and it says, do you remember it was four years ago that we delivered our first dollar bead box? A lot has happened since then, most of it good and most of it due to you, our wonderful members. Thank you for giving us a try. We hope you continue to enjoy your boxes and find lots of inspiration from them. For our new members, we wanted to remind you that our shop carries all the items from the boxes plus hundreds of additional items, all for only a dollar. Wasn't I just saying this? 
We also have some amazing offers in our special deals section of our shop. So yeah, definitely check that out. That is a great perk for the subscription. All right, and then on the back, we have our list of everything that is included inside the box. First, we have our section that includes the different strands we're about to see. And then we have a section down here that is going to list out all of our additional items. So again, I will leave this here for just a moment while I sort out the contents of the box beside me. All right, so to start with, let's get into our 10 millimeter check fire polish Jet AB, 20 pieces on this strand. These are very chunky and very sparkly. I really love getting all these different sizes of check fire polish because you see these a lot in bead weaving projects. And of course you can use these in stringing as well, but it's always nice to build up a collection of different sizes of these that you can pull from when you're trying to put something together. So again, these are the Jet AB, and then on part of the bead, as I'm spinning them around, you can see they have that very stunning, very flashy AB finish that really catches your eye in the light. Next up, we have another strand of Check Fire Polish. These are in the five millimeter and the color is called Seafoam Green. Now these are not just an opaque seafoam green. If you look close, they appear to have some kind of a finish on them where inside the bead looks like it might be a little bit more transparent and then something's been coated over it in the seafoam green. It's kind of got a, what I would call like a powder coated effect, if that makes any sense, but it is gorgeous. I love this light kind of sagey green and it's still very sparkly. Next up, we have these vibrant six millimeter check glass miracle beads in red. Wow, these look just like little berries, don't they? And they're showing up very bright and shiny on camera, but they are even more shiny in person. It's kind of hard to explain, but they have something almost similar to a cat's eye effect, something similar to like a chatoyancy where the light kind of gives it an interesting effect. So I think these are really cool. I'd love to see these in different colors. Next up, we have a strand of four millimeter check glass Drux in the color Topaz. We have 50 on the strand, these being just your basic round spherical beads and another great fall color to pull from in that harvest-like brownish orangey gold tone. Then we have another strand. This is a little itty bitty strand of three millimeter check glass drucks in Jet AB. So again, so perhaps these could be used in something together. That'd be kind of cool. This size is always easy to work with. Next, we have a very long strand of one by two millimeter Chinese crystal rondelles, and these are in crystal AB. Look how tiny those are. I mean, of course they look bigger on camera. Everything is magnified when I show it up so close like this, but these are so tiny. These are almost the size of 11 O seed beads, so you get the idea. Idea. And as tiny as they are, they still have the little facets on them like the rondelles do, which makes them very sparkly, especially with that little AB finish. And then finally for our strands, we have a six millimeter check fire polish in matte Victorian bronze. What a gorgeous metallic color that is. This is a beautiful toned down gold. It reminds me of the color flax, if you're familiar with that, when you see that in check glass beads. So another size of the fire polish. And it's worth mentioning too, when you're deciding what subscription box you wanna sign up for, that if you are the type of person that really loves working with check fire polish in particular, you will get a lot of these over time, especially if you subscribe to the dollar bead bag but also the box. That's where they include different sizes besides the three and the four millimeter. You're going to see different sizes pop up each month. So that's a beautiful collection of strands we have there. And now we can get into the additional items. The first thing that we have here is a bag of vintage buttons and it says the size and color varies. Now mine says there are going to be three pieces, but I'm actually seeing four. And I think this is really cool. Buttons are great for using as clasps if you want to, just as an idea. And let's take a look at all these gorgeous buttons. So these are all glass. This one in particular, I had to take a minute because at first it looked like it was metallic, but it is glass. There's a look at the back. So like it said, all of these are going to vary. So everyone's going to get a little bit different selection of buttons. Look at the AB finish on that bright orange. That is so unique. Here's a look at the back. And I need to do more with buttons, I think. It'd be fun for me to branch out and do more using them as clasps. I see beautiful button clasps all the time. So it'll be fun to have a few more of these in my stash to pull from when I'm feeling adventurous. 
Next up, we have a bag of ribbon charms. These are antique copper and silver. There are three pieces in here, and here is a close-up look at these. They say hope right on the front, so I'm assuming you could use these for a number of different applications. There's a look at the back. My next bag contains 12 millimeter check glass spirals in a matte Jet AB, and there's four pieces in here. And the AB side was what was showing right off the bat on the top, which is beautiful, that blue and the green that's really coming through. And then on the back, you can see that it is the matte jet, just your black color. These are a lot of fun. And I love the detail in there. That inner spiral is very glossy. And then the outer part is very matte. Next up, we have a bag containing check glass starburst beads. There are two pieces in here. And the color on these is opaque turquoise. As you can see the hole that is running up through the center of the bead and we have that cool pressed starburst effect. And we have two in the bag which would make a cute little pair of earrings right away. You can think of these additional items as kind of samplers, in my opinion, where they send you a whole different variety of things and materials and findings to show you the kinds of things that you could find on their website and purchase more of if you're interested. Next, we have a bag containing two pieces of 10 millimeter Chinese glass laser etched rounds in teal metallic. We've started getting a few of these over the past few months in different colors and patterns. So you can see this one is a basic white glass round. Not sure what that is right there. A little flaw in it. But anyway, we have the metallic blue stripes that are running around those. And I think they're very cute. Then we have another bead in teal metallic. This one being a Chinese glass laser etched barrel. There's one piece in there. So perhaps you could use these in combination with those little rounds since they are the same color name. It looks like they do coordinate very nicely. I love the etched detail in there. Isn't that gorgeous? You have the white glass showing through and the metallic blue that really sets off the design. So I, I really like seeing all of the new and interesting combinations of the etched glass. It is something different. And then we have a bag of check glass seed beads. These are in crystal AB and the size is 60. I won't pop these out, but you get a good idea of what they look like. They are your standard 60 seed beads. They are not very uniform. You can see that there are some that are quite a bit wider than others. So these might make decent spacer beads or would be good for stringing, but for weaving, they are not very uniform. I do love the clear and the AB combination. I think they will go with a lot of different things. So it's a great basic item to have. There's nothing wrong with using seed beads that aren't uniform. It just depends on what you're using them for and just something I'm pointing out to take into consideration. All right, our next bag contains 11-0 vintage check glass hand cut seed beads in the color Jet and there are five grams in here. And these look like your standard 11-0 seed beads, but they're very rough. I wasn't gonna take these out of the bag, but I don't think they're really showing up in the bag. So let me dump out a little bit in my palm and let you guys see these closer up. So there you go. You can see that there are a lot of them that are just very rough. So these might be great for a textural element when you're using them in bead stringing or perhaps some type of a bead embroidery project when you want a different textural element, just to name a couple of ideas. It seems like some parts of the bead are very shiny, but then some of them are very matte. And you can see they're very roughly cut as well. All right, next we have a bag containing top drilled ocean jasper in an eight to 12 millimeter size. There's one piece in here. This would be great to turn into a pendant or if you wanted to purchase another one from them, you could maybe make yourself a nice little pair of earrings. But I love the ocean jasper. You can see all the different striations of color going through the bead and the different patterns. It's all very interesting. We have different shades of tan and a little peachy tone and some white and a little bit of gray. And there's the whole running through there at the top. And I'm sure everybody's is gonna look a little bit different due to the fact that this is a stone bead. So this is just one example of what one of these would look like. Next up, we have a finding here. This is the silver plated ribbon clasp, lobster claw and extender chain. There is one piece in here. So another thing to point out about the subscription, if you're not familiar with it, is that they do send findings from time to time. We already saw some little charms down here and this is a little clasp set, which will be great for clamping onto ribbon or some type of thinner material. That is a very shiny silver. 
All right, then we have a little bag containing four pieces of six by 12 millimeter top drilled Chinese crystal drops. We can see our four little pieces here. They are very metallic and faceted. There is the hole running right through the top. The holes are just a little bit rough, which seems to come with the territory of your Chinese crystal. Nothing wrong with that, still usable, just something to point out. And then the final little bag in here contains two bead caps. These are 14 millimeter in antique brass or antique copper. It looks like I got the antique brass. And here is a look at one of them from the top side. And here is a look at the other one from the underside. These are very thick bead caps. They feel like they are nice quality. You can't bend them or anything like that. Would be nice to get a couple more in the bag, but I do understand that they are trying to point you to their website to purchase more. I really like that little leafy pattern and the fact that it's triangular in shape. Those are cool. All right, guys, so that is everything for the September 2019 dollar bead box and bag. Once again, all together, this would have cost about $26.50 shipped to my door here in the U.S. And we got about 27 different items here, so that puts us at just about a dollar per piece with free shipping. It's always fun to see what they send. Again, this is one of those boxes that doesn't play along to a monthly theme, so you're getting a very random assortment, which can be a fun way to build up your stash and get a variety of all sorts of different types of beads and materials and findings. I've been a subscriber of this box for well over a year now, so if you're curious about past boxes, you can definitely check out the playlist that I have for the dollar bead box. They are not paying me to say anything one way or the other about whether or not I like this box or my feelings on anything inside. So these are all just my honest opinions. And in no way am I trying to sell you a box. I just enjoy giving you guys a nice up close and personal look at what's included so you can make your own informed decision as to whether or not this type of box is right for you and your own budget. As usual, over time, you'll probably start to see some of these things popping up in my finished jewelry update videos. I do like to come back and show you guys some of the things that I've done with the beads I've gotten from these subscription boxes that I share. I will have another one within the next week or so. It does take time to work on all these projects, as you guys know, so thank you for your patience on that. I really appreciate you guys being with me for another fun unboxing. I hope you all have a wonderful weekend, and as always, happy beating. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. For more content like this, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified of my latest videos. You can check out the information section below this video for links to all my social media handles, recommended products, and my shop and blog at orchidnoble.com. Thanks for watching!